name is Cassie. Today I will introduce how to use AppCAD to design a three-unit bridge of anterior teeth. At present, the types that AppCAD can design include crumbs, bridges, inlays, veneers, cutback crumbs, and other restoration types. The cases on the right are all designed by AppCAD. Let's get it started. First, select a dental bridge order in the dental manager. Click to enter the design. After entering the design, you can see the process instructions of each step at the top of the interface. First of all, the first step is to mark the position of the tooth. Follow the prompts in the lower left corner to click on the broken margin of the abutment. If the tooth is missing, click in the middle of the missing position. The next step is to edit the margin line. On the normal circumstances, the software will automatically identify the margin line and only slight adjustments are required. Of course, you can also use the editing tool in the upper right corner to freely edit and add points to adjust the neckline. After adjusting all the margin lines, click next to enter the positioning direction adjustment. In the next step, a certain guide value will be generated by default. If you are using AppCAD software for the first time, it is recommended that you process according to the default gap venue. Then adjust the gap venue according to the tightness of the process to scrum. If the crown is loose, adjust the gap venue smaller. If the crown is tight, then adjust the gap venue larger. In the next step, the software will generate a tooth shape. There are six templates in the tooth model library on the right. You can find and select the appropriate crown type here. Then you need to determine the joint relationship of the teeth. Also organic, inverted joy, minor occlusion, etc. Observe and determine the approximate occlusal height and the tooth height and then determine the long axis direction of the restoration teeth according to the arch curvature. The long axis direction of the antagonist and adjust the inclination of the buccal and the lingual side. Click Apply to enter the shaping step. We can observe the shape, size, height, and the cut end shape of the teeth through the lip surface. And observe the contour height, labial convexity, lingui edge ridge height, lingui carina convexity from the side. Observe the lingual contour edge ridge and the thumb fossa shape on the thumb surface. Observe the arch curvature and the convexity of the dental arch. Ok, then we proceed to adjust the edge ridge and adjust the lip side edge ridge to make the teeth look more three-dimensional. That is, what we usually hear vest. Let the vest of the teeth become thinner and look better. Then there is adjustment of the labial paint and the fissure.
the developmental group of number one tooth is deep and known in the maxilla, and the short and the shallow in the flower. Lingual fossa adjustment. Tom bird editing. You can use a wax knife to add. The tom version of the anterior tooth number one is large and prominent. So the tom bird shape of our current tooth shape can be properly retained when designing. Or the waxing tool can be used to edit and enlarge it. The lingual edge ridge are triangular or inverted V-shaped and the wide adjacent surfaces on the left and the right sides can be seen from the lingual side. Finally adjust the bite. It is necessary to open the collusion when setting up the teeth and pay attention to the collusal contact of the upper and the lower jaw. There is a cutting tool on the right that can directly cut the contact area and then perform the wax knife smooth and round after cutting. Connection adjustment. Different types of connectors can be selected, or you can directly drag the points of the connector for free editing. It is most appropriate to contour the area of the connector to 9 square millimeters. After fusion, observe the interdental gap and the production gap. You can continue to use the wax knife tool to edit and adjust. After shaping, click the export button to complete the design. After listening to our upcast 3 Crowns Bridge Design Introduction, do you want to have a try? Click the link below the video and download the upcast demo version software. You can use it directly without the dongle. For more contents, please subscribe our YouTube channel, Up3D Tech. See you next time. Bye.